Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome to today's episode of Top Deck. We have a top 100 Mardu Winata deck for you, my friends. So very excited about this one for Kaldeheim here. Now, quickly with that said, this deck is by Ryo. So congratulations, Ryo, on hitting the top 100 with this deck, my friend. Now, as always, Planeswalkers, we have a lot going on, so I appreciate you tuning in. Feel free to check out the timestamps down below where we do cover the deck list strategy and objectives. We also talk about how to board for your best of three matches. We'll play some competitive magic for you in both best of one and best of three today with this deck, and then we'll close it out in kind of some final thoughts on where this may sit in the meta. Now, before you guys go ahead and, and uh, we dive into this deck here, I just want to say thank you. As always, please feel free to subscribe to the channel down over there. Additionally, like the video if you like it. Other great ways for us to connect down below in the description. And if you do have questions or comments throughout, please let me know and feel free to hop into the Discord server, my friends. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into this Mardu Winata deck. Technically, it's a Mardu Gigantha Winata deck because we have this guy here as our companion. Um, but what is going on with this deck? What pickups did we get? Well, the traditional uh, Winata decks revolve around Winata. So essentially, whenever a non-human creature uh, we can attacks we get a look at the top six we may put a human creature from among them um, on the battlefield taps and attacking it gains indestructible to the end of turn the rest on the bottom of our library in a random order we got lots of ways to trigger this here. Ideally, you want to do it all at the low end. So nice, Valky's a new one here in terms of trigger um, and very, very powerful in the top end if we need as well. A great way to pull a creature out of our opponent's hand um, as well there. And then additionally, everything again still at that three drop slot is going to trigger that Winata. So once we hit that four, um, it's really about dropping those top end humans um, or landing that Winata as well. Lots of good things that are going on for us here today. Now, quickly, Planeswalkers, what I do like about this as well um, is that, again, everything underneath four is going to be a trigger for Winata, and then we're playing heavily into our top end there. Um, when we look at the triggers, um, if we got sec six here, it's about one in 10. 10, a little less than that potentially on what you're pulling in your deck at the 60 obviously one in 10 but if you throw in one out of there too um, it's a little bit better than that so it makes that math worth it uh, as well so just want to talk about that so this deck is primarily all creatures minus um, our good old bone crusher here we also can pull in this human rogue uh, which is pretty nice uh, with menace so things to think about there so that is what the strategy objective of this deck is it's really about locking down that early game with our creatures Creatures, surviving to let turn four, dropping that Winata, and then hitting in. Um, so that is what we have going on. Now, two quick changes that I did make. I threw in the Clarion Spirit here for additional trigger, plus the White Sp Speaker Spirit token there for additional triggers, which I thought was nice, um, instead of crafting a Valky here. And then additionally, similar with the land, um, craft you can craft one of these. I didn't do it. Um, I'll make sure the deck list is available for you and up to date. And then Savai Triome here um, was what else I flipped in. So that is the main board, that is the strategy, that is the objective of this deck, um, leveraging Winata. And then in terms of sideboard here, this is what we do have going on. So just a quick call, we do have Redain, God of the Worthy here, additionally as our newcomer from Kaldeheim. So that is the other big um, takes that we got, and obviously Clarion Spirit, as, we, as I said earlier. So as we move into the sideboard here, my friends, we're going to talk about in terms of aggro, midrange, and late game uh, for our lineup here. So in terms of the aggro lineup, we're pretty much sets because we have a lot of stuff here already the only thing i would probably include would be heartless act potentially ember shield breaker depending on if they are running uh gruel and those kinds of things the other thing you could think about is redain god of the worthy here for those mono red or snow decks as well um skyclave apparition certainly helps um so that could be something that you can think about uh hanging on to as well um so lots of good things that you can move around this will obviously trigger um Winata. And what I would potentially move out would be Skyclave Shade if you're not playing a Rogues deck. So that's a good spot for you to look at putting in some of these other cards there. Um, it will move your <coughs> curve up a little bit. So that should be the one consideration that you're making. Plus, you can bring this guy back with a land drop. Um, so that's pretty important there. So in, again, that's kind of what I look to move in or out um, against some of those aggro decks. Again, we are very creature based. So it's just really about that survival uh, when we 
need to early game. Now, uh, and those are decks like Mono Red, Boros Aggro. This could also be Gruel Aggro decks like we talked about. It could be Mono Green Aggro. And then as we move into that mid-range, um, spread decks like uh, Mono Green Aggro, potentially Mono Green Stompy, also uh, Gruel Aggro. And then some of the stuff that we've uh, done recently, like is it Tempo is kind of a borderline one as well. Um, so keep those things in mind. Now, creature-based decks will align the same way if they are more on the side of dueling with control. Um, so these could be like Rakdos mid-range. It could also be kind of a sack deck uh, potentially, um, and that could be Jund or Rakdos there again. And then other things, there's plenty of other mid-range uh, things we'll talk about here in a second. But you could begin to think, Think about Duress, Giant Killer, if they are a little bit bigger, Soul Guide Lantern, if they are leveraging that graveyard. Um, and then you could also start to think about Ox of Agonis if you need some additional draw there. Um, something very, very important. So again, just really what you're gonna play. And then depending on what you wanna move out, again, I start to look at this kind of slot space here. Um, so keep those things in mind. You're really gonna have to leave this top end um, intact. Uh, then as we move into that late game, these are kind of some more Stroud decks. Could be the Teamer Ultimatum, Sultai Emergent Ultimatum. Uh, then we have to uh, worry about the Sultai Control decks and then all the other Control decks, Esper Doom decks, those kinds of things that are out there. Uh, what I would begin to do again is look at Duress, Soul Guide Lantern, uh, for sure, probably Ox of Agonis and potentially Skyclave Apparition if you need to really remove something off the board. Uh, so that could be like those Esper Doom decks, those kinds of things. And then again, where I would look to remove move um, i would look to take out skyclave shade potentially clarion spirit you're going to want to keep valky top end is going to remain intact and then the only other spot that you might want to think about is kind of this three drop slot here too um, bone crusher isn't going to be as good uh, if you can't do that direct damage my friends so that is what we have going on in terms of the aggro mid-range and late game with our uh, marty winata deck here um, again sit nicely on 23 lands we do have some options here uh, with the modals like uh, Black Bloom Rogue too. So uh, with that said, Planeswalkers, if you do have questions or comments, let me know down below. Feel free to hop on the Discord server. Like I said, we're going to go ahead now and jump into some competitive magic here with our top 100 Mardu Winata deck by Ryo. So let's not wait any longer and get into it right now so yesterday we did the abzan adventures deck super fun didn't go well in best of one we crushed it in best of three it was a lot of fun um so you guys can absolutely check that out we've done dimmer rogues lots of stuff here um we're getting close to that tier list so absolutely hang on tight because it's coming soon probably this probably very very soon so um we're gonna hop into it here but this is traditional standard rank we're gonna go in standard ranked um first and play our top 100 mardu winata deck um, so let's hop into it here. Now, Planeswalkers, as always, I really, really appreciate your support. Um, and if you do have questions or comments throughout, please let me know. Feel free to subscribe to the channel down over there. And additionally, like the video if you like it. And you guys can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Twitch as well to stay up to date on a lot of content uh, like this. So here we are good on lands. We're going to keep this. We got a lot of activation that we can do. If we can get to turn four, um, we'll be looking pretty nice. So it looks like a mono red snow deck. So now we're good on the lands. Too bad we didn't have a turn two. We need a turn two. Turn three, I'm probably going to want to go this guy. Brutal. We're going to be too slow, I think, for this deck here. Um, so, might be worth thinning. Let's go grab a black. If we can at least trigger Winata without getting killed here, I'll be happy. Alright, we're okay here for at least maybe one more. 
So that's all right. Drop this. Now we can get Winata down. If I can keep both of these, we'll be sitting in a much better spot. So they certainly have enough for Cleave here. So most likely it's going to be game because they did it on every one here. So hopefully we can at least trigger Winata, we'll see. Maybe they got a Bone Crusher. That's what I'm thinking. There it is. All right, so just so we can trigger Winata, we're going to have fun with this. So we do have this on that. And we'll get that one in. Now we have to block on two of them here. So, and they clearly did not have... Here comes a kill on Winata, or luck game. There we go. All right, so we did trigger Winata. It is a little bit slow, I'm not surprised. So let's go ahead into our next match here. We did not hit on the curve either. If we would have hit on the curve, could have been a little bit different. But let's go ahead here into our next match. I'll take that though. We got we got we got it off. So if, we, if that's all we get for today, that's what we get. But let's see. I don't think so. We got a lot. We got a lot of runway. NK10. All right. So here we go. Valky Winata. We got a lot of stuff here. Turn two. Against the control deck. All right. We got all our colors. So we'll go Skyclave first. Ooh, a double. All right, so this I like. Got plenty of those. Ooh. Turn four. They could kill my guys. Essence scatter. That's fine. If they get the Ashiok off, we're in trouble. So 
so now they still have the essence scatter. This will get hit on... on Extinction Event if they play it. So we'll try. We have to keep Winata up. So as long as they don't hit... That's huge for us. That's three triggers. I'm going to keep this one. We'll keep that one and that one. Oh! Oh! So close. Not lethal. Not lethal. Oh, we got it. <laughs> we played around the control. Velky did it for us, my friends. Very, very nice. Ooh, quicker than the quicker than the slow game deck, I guess. Dim your control. Ooh. All right, on to our next one. Ooh, let's check that. There we go. There we go. I like that better. Third and final best of one. We go into best of three. It's gonna be tricky because. They're gonna know the Winata game, uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be f fast and furious. All right, we go first. Um, we can keep this. Now I can go slow, or I can try and play that. Uh, we'll see. I think we wait. To be honest, it sounds kind of weird, but. Problem is though, I guess if I hit Winata then, it's not the right way to play. Ooh. Mardu Knights, I'm thinking here. Alright, so we go Bonsri's Lieutenant. I think we drop it on him, too. Now that's going to miss. Do I want the shade? I think we get rid of the shade. Double bossers. Here we go.
see how they block here. Take that guy off. Take it. There we go. <laughs> I think they hit their wall there. All right. Awesome. So on to our next match. That was a Mardu Knights deck. Nice to see that here. Um, on to our best of three, my friends. So much different day today with the Mardu Winata deck. Um, so let's go into our standard ranks. There's that top 100. Again, we played a bunch of these guys. You guys can absolutely go check these decks out. But we're playing the top 100 Mardu Winata deck by Ryo today. Um, going quick, actually, which is nice, too. So Planeswalkers, with that said, to recap uh, for best of one, we went two and one. Very, very nice. Well played. Um, daddy something. Um, we'll play first. Ooh, do I want to keep this? I will keep it. We'll see if we can get there. Um, as always, Planeswalkers, also appreciate your support. Please feel free to subscribe down there. And also like the video if you like it. Uh, you can follow me on uh, Twitter and Twitch and Facebook and all that stuff too. So and if you do got questions or comments throughout, please let me know down below and also feel free to hop into the Discord server. And yes, I did play this um, a little bit differently here. So we will do this. I can go fetch with that, that's why. So this will be a nice matchup for us because mono white aggro is a big one right now. Go grab that white. Gonna wait on that. See if they block. All right, we're gonna have to go fast on damage here. So if we can get to five, make Stone Coil bigger. Um, we can use Selfless and Sack and hit the Giant Killer. Not so much now. We can gain five life though, which is gonna be big.
Let's take that guy off. Ooh, on top of that. Ooh. Block with this guy. There we go. Boom! <laughs> oh, very, very nice. All right, so we're going to be playing. Going to need a couple of these guys. Heartless Axe are good here. Um, artifacts. They did have an artifact. Few artifacts. Um, Duress does help against this deck. Um, Woe Strider's not going to be as good here. What do we got? 65. What do we want to drop? Clearing Spirit wasn't bad. We'll drop it though. Uh, we'll go one there. Two there. We got to keep on the top end though. 23. Ooh. Need to keep that. I think we do that. I don't like that, but that's what we're going to do. All right. Oof. I can keep this. Don't like to, but I can. We'll see what we hit. Ooh, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna go grab a red off the bat then. So that we're getting rid of right away. Oh, if we could just hit one out of this match, that would be nice. <laughs> the double Bowser here hurts, though. We're going to go... In. Go like this. All right, so we're even. There's the apparition. Oh, 
Now let's slow roll it here. Alright, so this is... We can kick this. Could kick that. Alright, so when we block, um, we'll get a 2-2 token. Hopefully. That's the trick. No, nope, not anymore. Take the Bosries. There we go. And that's not going to trigger there for us. So what we need to do is we'll play this. So as long as they don't have a glass casket, as long as they don't have another Skyclave to get the stone coil off, we're okay. So if I do this and we do that. If we lived through this, we should have a game, hopefully. Nope. Messaging good game already, so they have it. Alright. Way to be early, my friend. Way to be early. You still have not seen our deck yet, though. So let's try that again. We have plenty of stuff to deal with this one, too. And at least for first. So it's not a bad match. Not a bad matchup. Just very unlucky that they had enough of the stuff to remove all our guys off the board. Little early on the good game, though. All right, so how much are you going to switch this stuff around? I still haven't seen our deck. I didn't, it wasn't worth dropping one out of there. So maybe we'll get it off this match. All right, we're playing first. No Winata, um, but we do have a few things here. We're gonna go grab bread. Gives us bone. We got double Valkyries here. We got a Heartless Act. We can go to three with Black Bloom. I want to do that. Or do I wait? I think I play this now.
Do it. Maul it up. Oh, they're waiting. They're thinking about it. Do not move the cursor on the giant killer. That's fine. We'll take him off. Or try to. So here's the play we do with the Valky again. Doing that to see what they have. Boom! There we go. Yes! Mono white aggro snow check my fr my friends. Whew, swollen on my own my own excitement. <laughs> All right. Very fast today. Very, very fast. We didn't even hit an eclipse with uh Oh, there we go. Look at that guy. Didn't even hit an eclipse with good old Winata there the last game, but we did get to see it. So very, very happy about that. We had a nice day with our top 100 Mardu Winata deck. So let's go ahead and check this out. Um, so again, Planeswalkers, here's what we have going on. The two changes that I made is I dropped in another Savai Triome. Um, and I also flipped out a Valky and I threw in the Clarion Spirit. Um, I will make sure that those updates are available for you down below there. Um, if you do have questions or comments, as always, please let me know down below. My friends, happy to happy to comment and, and answer any questions. Also, feel free to hop in the Discord server. That information is down below in the description. Um, on top of this, so to recap, best of one, we went two and one, was very, very nice. We only lost to Mono Red Aggro or Mono Red Snow deck today. Um, we beat a Mono White uh snow deck or aggro as it is and best of three which is very powerful for us it is it is certainly a top deck right now um so this played very very nicely in both best of one and best of three for us today um so in culmination of today's events and kind of where we know where the meta is um it can be a very slow deck um so best of one i'm gonna say it's probably in the tier two mid mid tier two maybe it's getting better i do like how this played um valky certainly helps us a ton we got enough removal there in best of one um really really like the top end protection there and stuff that that gets done um so when you do connect it connects and it hits hard um as all winata decks uh, typically do and then when we think about it in best of three we did take down a very a very popular deck right now um one that's also Towards the top um, but with that said i would still consider this probably somewhere in the in the tier two space um right now played very very well for us today was very happy with what happened um and really really liked it now some ideas that you could do too is you could also turn this into that one not a sack deck um by adding in some steals and those kinds of things something to think about um, and i'm sure there's one out there uh, because i think i've covered it before so um with that planeswalkers that is where i feel like this sits in the meta today um played very well for us we got to see a lot of nice things um and very very happy about the lines of play so uh, with that said, Planeswalkers, as always, uh, appreciate your support. Feel free to subscribe to the channel down over there. Additionally, like the video if you like it. You can like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Stay up to date on content like this. Stay tuned. We have the tier list coming soon. So um, looking forward to that. And then I'm going to start rolling out some other, other content as well. So uh, with that, Planeswalkers, Mithras out. And until next time, take care.